The songs come from somewhere else, right? I mean, these are like gifts to me, and then I mold them, and then I produce them, and arrange them in the way that I think I hear them. And then when I put it out, it's not, it's really not mine anymore. You know, it's, it's for the audience and it's for the listener. And do I want people to listen to it? Absolutely. Do I want people to buy it? Absolutely. Do I want heavy rotation? Definitely. <laughs> do I want placement on Grey's Anatomy and get taken all the plants in a film? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, would I take a Charmin commercial for my song, Go Easy On Me? Absolutely. <laughs> you know. The record starts with a song called Wreck Me, which I wrote in November while I was on tour with Ani DeFranco. And that song was written while I was on tour and I had a weekend uh, affair with another musician that was fantastic. And the idea came to me, this is a long weekend, we're gonna hang out, I'm willing to let you wreck me. Oh, oh no, here comes the flood. As your you know, I knew we weren't going to be together. I knew it was nothing else was going to come of this. Mm -hmm. It was just we were hanging out. We were writing, both artists. Uh, it was very, uh, it was very cool. person's much much younger than me so she's in a very different place in her life mm. and in her career that's the whole verse about uh, I want I'm going home dreaming of a nursery and you are standing still shining up your gate um, while I am trying to quit everything you are lacing up your skates Shining up your gates. Kind of like that looking at someone mm -hmm. across the table being like, you're just getting ready to start. Mm -hmm. You're just starting doing this thing I've been doing for 20 years and, mm -hmm. and I want to go home and, and uh, take in all the plants kind of thing. I don't know what the like stages of death are or whatever, I'm not sure when anger comes in, but it felt like that. It felt like between May and June, I went right through those three songs. And must the artist suffer for the art? Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Do you write better songs when you are in pain? Right. Yes, you yeah. do. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, you yes. do. <laughs> next song that came was Everything You Were, which is the song I wrote in May after uh, a breakup that I, of a relationship that I had been in for about two and a half years. Yeah, I gotta release you. Um, breaking up, getting back together, breaking up, get, getting back together. Um, and then finally, uh, in December of 2011, realizing um, that I had been lied to and, and uh, cheated on for quite some time. Every day I ask the sky to take care of you. I'm out here walking. So everything you were, I just, I just want to say I'm so pleased that that's the song that came first. Because for me, it shows such growth. To come from a place of pain in a soft way and in a, in a way of forgiveness. I'm out here walking these streets practicing forgiving you because everything you were got lost that day. So I'm gonna make sure that I don't get hurt like this again. And in a very calm and beautiful uh, musical way, I think, if I can speak that way about. So I was very glad that it didn't come out, you know, in May. So that happened, the kind of very careful, uh, let me reflect and try to forgive. And you will never hear me laugh. You will never touch 
Then came Pity Song about me. This is not a pity song. This is how I feel. Yeah, the full title is not a pity song. Right? That's right. right. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. Yes. So, and then the next one is Overboard, which mm. was when the anger came in. I don't know what the like stages of death are or whatever. I'm not sure when anger comes in, <laughs> but it felt like that. It felt like between May and June, I went right through those three songs. This is not a pity song. This is how I feel. I began around the time bomb. So was there a sense of catharsis doing it? No. 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 What What was the feeling? Was it a feeling of, <clears throat> well, I, I don't want to, do I want to say revenge? No, it's not no. revenge. You're not, saying, you're not Taylor Swift. No, no, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'd live in her guest house, but yes, yeah, right. no. Uh, on and the maybe vintage. she'll cover yeah, one yeah, of them. Yeah, right, exactly. Yes, that would yeah. be awesome. She's an awesome singer. <laughs> I actually remember writing Overboard, um, everybody's got one, a definite uh, tipping point. Uh, one particular push on a nerve and it'll send you overboard. Definite tipping point. One particular push on a nerve and it'll send you overboard. And I liked that it started like that because it didn't start with I, so it was directed to you. It reminds me of like reclaiming myself. You're nothing but a joke. You may have a heart in there somewhere, baby, but it's covered in smoke. You're nothing but a mirror. You can't even look at yourself. I'm glad you cheated on me now. I'm off it does feel cathartic to me to sing it now. But at the time when I wrote it, it was more kind of like when a song like that is coming out of your hand, mm -hmm. it's like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Do I want to finish this? That's actually how I felt about that song. And so then when I you, played it you, live and my fans were like, wow, we have our new breakup song, oh my God. And I was like, oh God, you know. <laughs> Crawling into your own world. Yeah. More than I, you. Yeah, it's I, I, yeah. I, yeah, I needed to do that, I guess. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but I did. So it's okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. I got a, an incredible record out of it and I survived it. I, it's okay. I, I sort of anticipated that because I was going to go, must the artist suffer for the art? Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Do you write better songs when you are in pain? Right. Yes, you yeah. do. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yes, you do. I'm better off by myself. That mystery, that if I wait, it, it, it might be possible that I may even be able to write better. And like, what would that look like? Do I want to finish this? That's actually how I felt about that song. And so then when you, I played did, it did live and my fans were like, wow, we have our new breakup song, oh my God. And I was like, oh God, you know? <laughs> So we talked about um, falling out of love or getting broken. Yeah. Can we talk about being in love? And sure. <laughs> are, are you happy and in love now? Now? Now. Yes. This very I, moment? Uh-huh. Yes, I am. Good. Yeah. And are some of those songs reflected on the No. Album? No. No. <laughs> I'm writing more songs. Uh -huh. Fill up your bathtub for dishes to wash. Make sure you have enough canned goods. Drinking water to last you a week or two. Until the storm has passed. I've lived by different rules, not by billboard rules. Mm -hmm. And um, I think to expect myself to live a life that is billboarded or shown on TV is a pressure I've put on myself for a long time. And so to release myself of that pressure and just be exactly who I am and I can be um, a great 
friend and a great partner. I can be uh, committed and compassionate and loving and caring. For last resort, exit plan. Get yourself to the safety of an interior room. Put a pillow over your head. Don't forget to bring your cell phone. Unplug your whole life. Slow down your pulse. Get as small, as small as you can and pray. Where I'm at is just really enjoying being happy and right where I am, and I'm in a good place, and I just want to like write the crap out of it. And I think it might be more scary for me to stay in that because I'm afraid I won't be able to write. So I think I have historically given up on relationships because I wasn't writing, and so I sabotage them to get material. And I think that that's really what where I'm at right now, which is about letting go of that that mystery. That if I wait, it it, it might be possible that I may even be able to write better. And like, what would that look like? good at that forgiving with music like it's all about the moment it doesn't matter I'd rather have you go for a note and completely miss it than not go for it and I and I think that I, I am that way with life and then I can imagine it apart I don't need to smash it and then build it again mm -hmm. so I think I'm done smashing model airplanes. <laughs>
uh, two people that I actually dated in that last year. Um, you know, I don't need to, I don't think, I don't need to, uh, I don't need to blow stuff up to put it back together, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I can look at a model airplane really closely and see where it's glued together. And then I can imagine it apart. I don't need to smash it and then build it again. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm done smashing model airplanes. I would like to be done smashing them. Mm -hmm.